I just had my shield point directly towards him and it still did nothing. There was a hill behind me which cut the jump short. That's an awesome way to die. That's really fun. Just a slight incline behind you means that you don't technically dodge the attack. Fun. Whew. I'm sure this game's a lot of fun if you play it normally. Unfortunately for me, I'm here. Might as well. Might as well die. Might as well die. <sighs> At least it's temperate. At least I don't have to deal with... <laughs> At least I don't have to deal with, um... Uh, temperature damage. At least that's not something I have to worry about here. Nice. Love, love not dodging away when I press the A button. I love it when I'm targeting an enemy and I have my shield directly towards him and the game says he hit... He, he, the shield doesn't count. The shield did nothing. The shield means nothing. Why even have a shield? I love facing directly towards an enemy and then getting hit through the shield. Eat. Dare fucker, that almost hit me. Did you see that? Fucker. Yeah, I'm not taking any risk. I'm coming for you next.
Excuse me. Excuse me. Need to readjust. Okay, it's just these guys. Okay. Not like just these guys. Like, that's nothing. That was so close. God, why did I even... I was like, I'll take his weapon away. Then he can't hit me. Doesn't matter. The three horns can still kill me with a punch. Just one, one, one good... That was so dumb. I almost had that. I was so close. I know Big Boy's still a problem. Big Boy still might have killed me very quickly. But that, I think, was my best one so far. And it was really dumb of me to be like, ooh, I knocked his stuff away. I could have, like, taken the shield, not the most, not the dumbest move in the world. No need to go for the sword. It was dumb of me to go for the sword. I don't even know if these guys pick up their stuff again, because there have been a couple of times where I've seen them starting to throw rocks, and I'm like, why are they throwing rocks? I think it's because I knocked the stuff out of their hands, and they're too stupid to pick them back up. So I don't even know why. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've gotten close. I got excited. Generous, but I appreciate it. God, why? 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 Why do we do the things that we do in the order that we do them? Is this life? I, I guess sometimes Link doesn't that just doesn't pay attention to the fact that I would like him to swing his sword after he draws it. Very cool, Link. Very good work. Yeah, yeah. That, I, I didn't I didn't want I didn't want that one to be the one. I, I I wouldn't have been happy if that had been the one. So might as well just reset. I hope Matt Mercer had fun. Can't wait to hear him one day.
Is it weird? I know he doesn't have a ton of dialogue, but is it weird that, like, Charles Martinet as Mario is iconic, and he recently announced his retirement, and it was a really big deal, and everyone was like, oh my god, he's been so good at this character, we're gonna miss him so much. Um, is it weird? I, I could not for the life of you tell me who Link's voice actor is in any game. And I don't think any of my friends could either. But even like my friends who are into voice acting, I don't think know that. Um, it's probably the same in Japanese and in English, um, because of how little dialogue he has. But like, even then, I know a good amount of Japanese voice actors because of how much anime I watch. No idea who voices Link. Zero idea. Are you? Fucking on drugs when you design the archers of video games and choose to have them fuck over the player like that. Honest question to the developers. Is that, do you get off on that? Is that why you put the archers here? Is that what this is about? Some, some sick, sadistic, twisted gratification of fucking me over? Is that what this is? Well, guess what you get for that? This time I'm killing all the archers first. I've, I've, I've started not to do that very much. It's happening now. Die. 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 Yeah, big boy's coming after me. I don't care. I'm going for the archers. Die. <laughs> At least, at least I'm not gonna get shot. D fuck. Fuck. Fuck that. Fuck, man. Fuck. Fuck. Hey, that ceiling looks kind of cool. Okay, I, I dodged out of the way of the first one, but not enough to get a flurry rush. And then the second one hit me. Very cool. I saw that guy get ready for a charge. Try me, bitch. Guess what? I'm going for archers now. Wait, how are there so many of you? I feel like I've, mm, I feel like I've killed a lot of, pe of people. Okay. Nothing really matters. cool thought today because I was thinking over why I, 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 I what I my qualms with Attack on Titan of which I have many because I was thinking of the for one thing it's never going to end that's the first thing it's now I think I mentioned this last recording we are now mid-September and the date of 2023 fall has gotten no more specific I truly don't think it's happening um <laughs> But everyone was, like, I, I keep seeing, like, you know, my friends really like this certain scene. I'm going to get into, like, major spoilers okay, for final season part three, part two, but not part three of part three of the final season. It's that, it's the, or is it part three? I, fuck, shit. I don't fucking know. It's the scene with Ramsey, the little kid, 
And everyone's like, oh my god. It's it's so, so much about who Aaron is as a character and all the struggles he's gone through and how how hard this is for him and how what a toll this is taking on. It's like, fuck, fuck that. Fuck Aaron, first off. Aaron sucks. He's a well, he's like a complicated, well-written character. As a person, fuck him. He's a, such a terrible person and the idea that everyone's like, man... I see so much of myself in Aaron. It's like I know, I know there is there's a meme that's gone around of that being said satirically, and I, I, I it's fun when it's satirical. But no, there's people out there who are like, yeah, I, I really I see where Aaron's coming from. He's very relatable. It's like no, he's not. No, he's a fucking psychopath, and he's it's bad. He's a bad person. Anyways, I actually really don't like the Ramsey scene, even though apparently most people consider it one of the best sequences in the entire franchise. Because here's the problem. Okay. For context. Major Attack on Titan spoilers. We're getting into it. It's a Zelda Let's Play. I'm going to start talking about Attack on Titan spoilers at some point. It's a tradition at this point. Um, he, he talks to this kid, and he's like... It's been a while since I've seen it. But from my memory, he talks to the kid. And this is an oversimplification. I have to oversimplify. Because of my memory and my attention span. Because I'm also trying to beat this game. Honestly, despite despite how much I've been sucking the past couple of tries, I promise I am still trying. God, I can't stand the I can't stand that. I can't stand the idea of ice slash and the on a normal sword. This is not not a big sword. Normal sword. I swing for an enemy before another enemy has started its animation to attack but the wind down from the sword from me slashing the sword is long enough that the enemy can start and complete its first attack and instantly kill Link. i can't stand that that's really frustrating anyways aaron's talking to this kid and he's seen the future and he's like i'm i'm so sorry child I'm going to I'm going to swoosh you. I'm going to flatten you into a pulp. And it's going to be really sad. And the entire audience is going to cry that you are, you're going to die. And they're, they have not all they have not at all been already desensitized to all the violence that has happened and all the massacres and genocide I've done. There's no way the audience is watching the show and thinking, "Yep, it's more depressing death." It's not as impactful anymore. That would never happen because you're a child. And it's really sad whenever a child dies and gets smooshed. It's really sad when the smooshing happens and there's a new OP with Screamo in it and it goes, the smooshing, smooshing, it's coming, smooshing. Um, I'm really sorry that I have to murder you. And it's, it's the most like, it's honestly, I find it kind of disgusting, the level of self-pity that Aaron is letting himself feel. The idea of, he he's he feels like he has to do this because he's seen the future and he sees what happens. And he's, and he, and he just, here's the thing. There's two options. One, Aaron is wrong about this being predetermined. He's seen a future that he is responsible for, but technically he still has the free will to change and do something else. I honestly prefer that, and I'll tell you why in a minute, but if that is the case, then it is the most disgusting, like, moment of self-pity the entire show that Aaron is allowing himself to be like, man, it's so sad that this kid is going to die, Due to my actions that I could change and I could just choose not to do, I, it's so, so sad that Steve Jobs is about to die of Ligma. And the kid's like, who the fuck is Steve Jobs? And Aaron is like looking at him through like teary eyes and going, Ligma balls. It's, it is, it is kind of gross for Aaron to. Uh, basically give himself a moment of a man I feel so bad for these people that I'm murdering even though I haven't even done it yet I'm still I still feel sad that this kid has to die for my plan to work it's, it's really gross the alternative which is even worse is if it really is supposed to be predetermined 
and Aaron has no choice over the matter. This kid is actually destined to die, just like me, just like Link. And there's nothing Aaron can do to change it. Because if that's the case, Aaron's entire character arc is thrown out the window. Because if nothing, if nothing was his choice, he's, he's the most boring character in the world. The reveal, quote-unquote, that he never had any choice in the matter makes every single thing he's ever done hardly matter because he didn't because if he didn't choose it because it was predetermined then there's no arc he's just doing what was pre do you like does that make sense whenever you whenever you have a story where every single thing is meant to be predetermined it makes it really feel invalid like every character choice made feels invalid because you're telling me it, it, it didn't matter that the character had choice or thought he had choice. He didn't. So any any specific detail of, wow, it's interesting that he chose to do that, or, wow, I can't believe he chose to do that. I, like, does that... I'm sure there's a way, that there's a good argument against this for why that's... The, I'm, I'm oversimplifying the idea of predetermination in stories. But I stand by... If Aaron truly had no choice, it makes him a boring character. It, it makes him a, it's just, it's as simple as that. That is my opinion. He is a boring character if he never actually made any choices. So either that Ramsey scene invalidates everything interesting about Aaron, or it makes Aaron come across as even more gross and self-pitying and oh i'm so sorry I, I have to do this genocide it's really sad that i'm responsible for genocide feel bad for me he says to you the viewer so yes that's why i don't like the ramsey scene is because it implies one of two things and both of them are bad and dumb but one of them at least keeps Aaron interesting, even if it makes him more disgusting of a human. Holy shit. Um... Anyways, that's not the... That's, that's the... That's the... Depression hour... Uh, Lead-up to a fun thing I was thinking, because I was also like... Look, I, I'm not an expert in nihilism. I know the 101s. Aaron seems like a very nihilistic character, of the only, like, morality needs to be put aside in order to accomplish what I personally want, because nothing really matters in the end. And also, the idea of predetermination feeds into the nihilism of, nothing I do matters, nothing's gonna change, this is what, this is just what things it, what, what things is. And, again, I haven't completed the show, because the show's never going to end. I don't know what the final, like, takeaway of the story is going to be but the main character of the series is very nihilistic and I was just thinking of and ha I was thinking about how I don't really enjoy that how that's not enjoyable for me <laughs> and then I was like and what other like can you have a like depressing gritty work like usually those are nihilistic right and then I was like oh, yeah I guess berserk and then I thought about it I was like no when you think about it this is, and this is part of the reason I think I really like it. Berserk is, ah, damn it. I was, it took me a second. It, it didn't take me a second to register that I died. It took me a second to register that I was pretty close on that run. And it was only after a second after I died that I was like, oh damn, that sucks. Um, despite how dark and grim it is, when you examine the main characters of Berserk, it is vehemently anti-nihilism. If you you have like literal gods telling the main character nothing you do matters nothing will ever change this life is like worth nothing and even even some more optimistic characters are like you gotta make what you can out of life in this shitty world and that that kind of is is part of the takeaway of berserk i don't think it, it makes a direct argument against that but when told like hey nothing you do is gonna matter shit sucks you just have to deal with it. Guts 
when being told this by literal gods, is like, fuck that. Fuck, I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to fight back. I'm going to do whatever I can. The Lost Children, which is the best arc of Berserk, fight me, um, ends with a character returning back to a life that she knows is going to be shitty and is going to suck. And she says, yes, that's all true. I might not be able to completely change that, but I'm going to go back to that life kicking and biting and fighting back wherever I can because like that in you know, of itself has value and I, I love that I, I just I really I like Berserk a lot Berserk's really good and I'm just you know those are the two one they're both manga I've only read I've only seen the Attack on Titan anime and I've only read the, the Berserk manga so I was, this is this is a dumb like thing to be very uppity about. So but I was about to call them these are two anime, and I was like, no, these are two manga, and I was like, I haven't read the manga for Tucker. Two series from Japan. They happen to be from Japan. Um, that are both very grim, dark, and heavy, and deal with a lot of like depressing issues and a lot of people dying in really depressing ways, and really upsetting outlooks on life as a whole. But the core philosophy of... Again, I don't know what the main takeaway of Attack on Titan is supposed to be because I haven't finished it yet. Um, but from what I can see, despite having kind of similar tones at times, the core philosophy of those two series seem to be fundamentally different. And I think that's why I vastly prefer one to the other. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I just think it's really interesting. It's, it is... Berserk is so dark that I would recommend it to almost no one. Unless I like, I really know what their vibe is, and I think they would really enjoy it. Um, but it's one of the best series I've ever read, and even though I don't recommend it to too many people, it always makes me happy to think about it and be like, "Yeah, that like I, to, on a critical level, like think about it and be like, yeah, this series is fucking amazing. This is fantastic." Because um, I know a lot of friends who have read it, so I don't talk about it with them all that often. I mostly just have to talk at people like I'm doing to you right now, dear viewer. Um, thank you for listening. Berserk's very good. Um, if you can handle um, a lot of depressing topics, and um, I will say far more than Attack on Titan, quite a bit of sexual assault in Berserk, more than there should be. That is, I think, its greatest flaw. Um, but, um, if you can stomach that, um, and you're also willing to read a very long series, maybe check it out. It's, 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 it's tough to get through emotionally at points, um, but it's, again, like I said, one of the best stories I've ever read. So, yeah. One of the best game series I've ever played is Zelda. And every minute I'm here, I um, have to remind myself that uh, these games are good and it's my own fault that this is frustrating. If, if I was just normal, it, I wouldn't be like this. Carry more shields. Why? Why even bother? Let's just start working on archers, huh? Don't you dare, fucker. Meep. I 
did not like that. I did not enjoy that experience just now. I should start legitimately. This might be dumb, but part of me thinks I should start throwing my sword um, when it's close to breaking, because um, almost every single time a sword has broken when I'm in a swarm of enemies, that has been the exact point where uh, I have been killed immediately. Keep going, keep going, yeah! Nice. I wonder what Chris Tucker is doing. I don't know, I just started thinking of a, a clip from Rush Hour a second ago, and now I'm curious. Jackie Chan's doing pretty well, I think. I've not, I've not really checked in on Chris Tucker recently. I hope he's doing okay. Pretty funny. through quite a few. Okay, I don't even know what I was dodging there. I got very lucky. I think the game is being generous as well. Also very lucky. I'm mostly just guessing at this point. Mm. Mm. Didn't like that. Didn't like that. I'm getting very lucky and I don't like it. I don't like how lucky I'm getting. I wish I was just being good at the game, but I'm not. I'm being lucky. What the hell was that noise? I know it was Big Boy, but like, what was the actual like thing that happened there? I wish you guys would not gather around your archers so well. That's not what you're supposed to be doing. Chargers. Stop charging. I did that was not an invitation. Fuck off. Are any of you just gonna slash normally? Thank you. God damn. Okay, I'm just gonna switch now. Stop 
rocks at me, man. Have fun. Shouldn't you all be in one big group by now? <laughs> There's one guy who's still all the way back there. What the fuck? threw me off. I would have start I would have started trying to go real direct with this guy if it weren't for that last guy. That's the best I've done. I think if I was looking at that I had not done much damage to Big Boy, and I'm sure he has the most health out of any of these yeah, he for sure has the most health out of any of these creatures. Um in this first wave. I think there might only be two waves. I was looking at that health bar and I think if I had successfully taken out Big Boy, that would have taken us down to the halfway point. It's going to be supremely funny if Wave 2 is literally just Wave 1 again. It's the, it's the exact same thing. I can't imagine it would be that cruel to me. I, like, even if it's more difficult at this point, I just need something to, to shake things up. 